It's expected to be the biggest album of the year. Adele's 25 is out today, but there's a catch, though. Hello. Can you hear it? Everyone rushing to buy Adele's new album, 25, today? The old-fashioned way? That's because the British crooner has decided not to stream it on platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. It mirrors the decision Taylor Swift made a year ago when she pulled her music catalog from Spotify, complaining it was devaluing her work by letting users listen for free. So in case you weren't sure, Will Smith can still bring the house down. The actor slash rapper took the stage at the Latin Grammy Awards last night to perform Fiesta with Bomba Estorio. And now we're even more excited for that tour Smith has revealed he's planning with DJ Jazzy Jeff. Amazing. Charlie Sheen is going to set the record straight in a memoir. The actor who revealed to the world that he is HIV positive earlier this week is reportedly working on a tell-all book about his health and his scandal-plagued career. <laughs> Joshua Jackson is dishing on his relationship with longtime love Diane Kruger, revealing the couple works at keeping their relationship healthy amid the pressures of Hollywood. The Vancouver native, who is currently heating up the small screen in the affair, although of course, to some, he'll always be Pacey from Dawson's Creek, caught up with TK to talk about his and Diane's holiday traditions. We alternate families, Christmas by Christmas, Diane and I, so oh, nice. this year's German families. What do those traditions involve? They do like a two-week winter festival in every little town all around Germany. <laughs> oh and God. the whole town is out every night. What's your favorite holiday tradition or pastime? I mean, hockey? It doesn't freeze enough in Vancouver, right? So watching hockey is... Love is like a burning Rod Stewart is exploring storytelling on his 29th album. In part two of TK's sit down with the rock legend, the 70-year-old gets real about how his approach to music has changed over the years. I really think you, um, you let it all hang out as it goes. You get a bit older. <laughs> is it easier to do as you get older? It's more enjoyable. Yeah. I don't know if it's easier, but it's a lot more enjoyable. Is it also because you're at a point in your life maybe where you just don't care what other people think? Yeah, I don't give a <laughs> Good for you. Another country is available now. I never saw a pretty face again. They're the top female DJs in the world and the first sisters of EDM. We can't believe it. We think that there's got to be some more girls coming up. We caught up with Mim and Liv, the twin sisters who make up Nervo, during their stop in Toronto where they performed at F Cancer's annual fundraising event. A year and a half ago, our mum was diagnosed with breast cancer and it was so out of the blue for us. You know, there are so many organisations that just popped out of nowhere to help us. We just wanted to do something good and give back. The Grammy winners, who've worked with some of the biggest names in the biz, also dished on who they'd like to collaborate with next. Today, Liv was saying Justin Bieber. Make up your mind, what do you mean? I'm a very busy man. What do you want? The job. Get ready to see the dark side of art. Brand new series, The Art of More, is exploring the world of priceless art and shady dealers. The show stars Carrie Elwes, Dennis Quaid, and Kate Bosworth. You know, it's about all the best of human emotions, greed and lust and passion and betrayal and things like that. The Art of More premieres today on Show Me.